Let's talk about a crowbar circuit. Now what it does is if it detects an over voltage condition, it just shorts out the power supply, saving your load. And then you usually have a fuse or a current limited power supply connected to that. Now uh, we're going to use a MC3423. It's a little uh, chip to, uh, to, to make up a crowbar sensing circuit. And in this case, it's, it's uh, good in this configuration, it's good for 4.5 to 36 volts DC. Now, how this the chip works, it has an internal reference of uh, 2.6 volts, okay? And then we just have an external uh, voltage divider from your positive and negative rail here. And when that voltage cross that voltage divider reaches your 2.6 volts, uh, uh, pin eight here, the drive output pin goes high and in this case, we're going to turn on an SCR and short out the uh, the power supply here. Okay, so we got to figure out some uh, uh, resistance here. So here's the formula for the uh, voltage divider. So your V trip is going to is equal to your uh, V reference, which is going to be your 2.6 volts uh, times one plus R1 over R2. Now R2 in the data sheet says it should be less than uh, 10k. And we're going to use a, a, a 4.7k ohm resistor and we know what our vref is 2.6 and we're going to use a trip voltage of, of 12 volts so this is going to shut off at 12 volts here so to calculate r1 uh now i just i switched sides i put the 12 volts over here just to uh easier for my to wrap my head around it then i divide both sides by 2.6 and so uh, 2.6 into 12 goes uh, 4. Uh, 165 and then uh, subtract one from that and it comes up to uh, this down here and we just uh, multiply your 4.7 times that and it comes out to uh, well about 17k ohm resistor here okay in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a 20k pot in there so i can adjust it a little bit okay so that's all there is to it just a voltage divider goes into your uh, uh, voltage uh, sense voltage here on pin two and uh, now the uh, the drive output if you look in the data sheet on figure uh, 10 it'll show you the the uh, resistance you need uh, for the drive circuit here and in this case it's 10 ohms okay going into my uh, uh, scr here and i have one more pin six here it's an indicator output and uh, i'm just going to put an led across that and so that's R3, and to calculate that, you just take your trip voltage, which is going to be my 12 volts, and it's, this thing's good for 10 milliamps, that pin, so divide that by 10 milliamps. So this R3 is going to be a 1.2K ohm resistor, and then I'm going to just take my uh, LED and put it across the, from the pin down to, uh, to ground in here, and that's going to turn on. It'll turn off when the, uh, when the uh, SCR shorts out, okay? So that's, uh, that's basically all there is to it, to figure out all the uh, uh, resistors there. Oh, one more thing here. We have the, uh, this fuse up here. Now I'm gonna put it onto a current limited power supply. So as soon as it shorts out, the, the power supply will limit the current, but you can use a, a fuse up here instead. Now the fuse has to be rated at, the, at uh, there's an I squared T rating on the fuse and an, on the SCR. Now in the data sheet, you'll find the uh, the I squared T rating for the SCR. So the fuse rating has to be less than that, okay? And these are, uh, they're a semi semiconductor fuse and they have this symbol on them with a little diode there. There's no diode in the fuse. It's just a symbol saying that they're good for, uh, you know, uh, S silicon controlled devices. Here's one here. You can see that symbol there. This one happens to be 160 amps, but uh, these things can get expensive. This one here is about $170. And uh, so th this one here, I'm going to have like a three amp fuse in there, but they, they can get expensive, but I'm, I'm going to use a current limited power supply. And then I'll just use an ordinary fuse just to, to uh, for a fire pr protection there, just fusing the wire size basically. So um, I've got this thing set up over here. Oh, and then down here we have, um, I've taken a pin three and four and tied that together. Now, uh, in this configuration with three and four tied together, it has a propagating delay of, of one microsecond. So as soon as it reaches your, your uh, internal reference voltage, you know, one microsecond later, you know, uh, pin eight is going to go high and shut this thing down. 
If you want it faster than that, you can con connect pin two to three and then leave four floating and then it'll be half of the, it'll be a half point five microseconds, okay? And if you have some fault dripping due to noise and stuff and your, your uh, load can handle a, a little bit extra voltage on there, you can take pin three to uh, through a capacitor to the ground and then in figure 11 in the data sheet shows you what kind of capacitor to use on that. But you can increase the time delay to, you know, uh, a point, uh, one, uh, point zero 0.01 uh, microfarad cap will uh, increase it to uh, point 0.1 microseconds. So you can increase the time delay on this if you want. But we're keeping it to uh, our one uh, microsecond time delay here and we'll give it a try. So here's the unit here. And I have voltage on it. Right now I've got seven volts on there. And I'm going to turn up the voltage and we'll see what happens. Can you see that? That's better. 10 volts. 11. Well, okay. Once, once it's tripped, that SCR will stay on, and we need to uh, reset it. So I'm going to turn it up just slightly and start over and see if I can get it close to 12. Okay, back at 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, too fast. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Okay, I think I have to go the other direction here. All right. Back at 8 volts and 10, 11, 12, yeah, a little over 12. But anyway, you can adjust it to uh, whatever voltage you want. And by changing that uh, uh, voltage divider, you can adjust it down to, you know, if you want 5 volts or, you know, all the way up to uh, 36 volts on this one. There's other configurations you can use to get higher voltages. This particular one, I have it set up to, uh, it'll plug into my uh, power supply. So when I, I can set this to, uh, say, 12 volts, and uh, no matter what the power supply is set at, it's going to, uh, I won't get over 12 volts on it. So anyway, that's uh, an overvoltage crowbar uh, sensing circuit. Very easy to use with this, uh, the MC3423. Uh, There's a little chip right there. And uh, yeah, it works good. So uh, thank you.